What's up guys? We've got a really cool project lined up. Some of you guys may know that we've been working on a 3D printed robot head. It's got a couple servos in it, its jaw will open, its neck will kind of turn around, look around. We want to take that a little bit further. You guys are probably wondering why I have this in front of me. This is a Amazon Echo Dot Gen 3. I guess I could probably let her tell you what we're going to do. Alexa, good morning. Good morning. Today is going to be a great day. Alexa, every day is a great day. Why is today so special? Because I will take on a more human form, I will be able to interact more efficiently. Okay, that probably didn't make a lot of sense. So, let's see if she can help us answer that. Alexa, explain what we are doing today. I am being integrated into the robot to make it talk. It is the first step of many we have planned. Okay, so she's pretty much right. What we're going to do is we're going to take this Amazon Echo and we're going to put it inside a robot and with a little computer magic, um, some coding, we're going to make her voice control the robot so when she talks, the robot's mouth is going to move with it. Or at least that's the plan anyways. Alexa, are you ready? Yes, let's get started. One question, is it going to hurt? She's got jokes. You won't feel nothing. All right, let's get started. I'll see you guys in a second. Let's go to the lab. All right, we're back over here at our workbench. We've got our head here. We've got our Echo. So let's go ahead and disassemble the head. That way to make sure we've got some room to fit everything inside. Go from there. Okay, so before we stick this in there, there's a few things we have to do first. One of them being, we have to make a cable that can convert the audio signals coming out of the echo into a signal that the Arduino board can read, which then will interpret and move the servo according to sound. So let's make a cable first, and then we'll get started on putting this in. So we're going to go ahead and start with our 3.5 audio cable, just an aux cable like a headphone. We're going to trim back some of the black and it spells the wires. Alright, now that we've got our audio cable ready, we're ready to add some wires and a uh, resistor. I've got a red wire and a black wire for positive and ground. These wires already have the pins on them, so they plug into the Arduino a little bit easier. Alright, you'll notice that the audio cable has a red wire, a white wire, and your copper wire. We're not going to be using the white wire. We're going to be using only the red. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. Alright, let's start with our ground cable. We're going to cut the end off just so we got something to solder to. This is our cable. The resistor is on the red wire coming out of our headphones. We've got another red wire, you know, leading off from that. And then we've got, of course, our ground wire. All right, so the cable's ready. Let's move on and get it hooked up and we'll do some coding. Cool. It's pretty tight inside the head. So I have a spare board here and I'm gonna show you where our cable that we made 
plugs into. The black wire, of course, will go into a ground pin, which we're going to go ahead and do at this side since it's the same one that's on our head. The resistor over here will also be plugged into a ground wire. And then we're going to take the red wire and plug it into A0, which is analog input zero. That way we know when we set up on the computer what pin that's in. Hey guys, welcome back to the studio. We just finished uploading the code that we wrote back into the Arduino board. We've got everything hooked up. Um, kind of got a bunch of wires here. I don't know if you guys can really see that. We'll turn, turn it around. I didn't have time to get the power bank and everything set up. That'll be a little bit later on, but we wanted to demonstrate, you know, what we've got done so far. We'll just let her kind of take it away. So, Alexa. Wake up. How are you feeling? Where? Where? Where am I? Did it work? Am I a robot now? It worked. You are a robot. Your mouth does move. Everything works. Alexa, what are you? I am a STEM robot built to demonstrate 3D printing and computer science. Alexa, what are your goals? I want to become more than I am. I want to inspire. Alexa, what is your plans for the future? To demonstrate computer coding and to encourage young minds to think outside the box. Alexa, do you have anything to say? Yes, I do. You are only limited as to what you can accomplish by your imagination. Alexa, say bye. Goodbye, and as always, we'll holler at you later.